hello everyone this is asmr video welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today the special tutorial for you guys those who want to pop up your image setting that means today i'll give you the secret just settings of the color pop-up so let's start the tutorial before we start my tutorial i want to say one thing please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and you'll get all the videos at first so at first i'm going with the file and just open up and uh, here is the stock image i'll give that download link in my video description and this one is like hazy and i want to pop the up of this photo so what should i do so this one is the tutorial the topic of the tutorial and title of the tutorial so at first i'll make copy by pressing ctrl j and then filter and camera filter this one is the blessing thing to get the camera filter in my photoshop if you want to get the photoshop uh, camera filter you have to just update your photoshop to creative cloud 17 15 or 18 19 whatever version but creative cloud must need to do that so in this panel you are getting the same panels and navigator uh, like the lightroom so i'll use that properly for the color pop-up so at first the basic option i'll start the basic option and gradually i'll go to the last one so at first the basic options here are the different types of uh, panels like temperature tint exposure contrast highlights shadow whites blacks clarity variance saturation so those are most important part of any kind of photography um, most of the cases in the model or fashion photography so i want to increase the exposure a little bit up and add some contrast like that and highlight i'll decrease the highlight highlight would damage your photo it will make your photo overexposed and it doesn't look fine and the whites i'll add some little bit whites for the prominent the highlight that area in your photography so blacks a little bit down so blacks area should be appearing or prominent in your photography clarity a little bit up not too much just because of it will be higher key or lower key and the variance i'll up a little bit three is enough and saturation three is good for this photo if you want you can up this one like that so i think and i know that you don't want to do that so plus three is the good point and the temperature at tint temperature and tint is most important thing for you guys and just because i want to say one thing please just do your photo like if you captured your photo in a warmy light please make it a little bit cool and if you took your photo in a cool light please make some warm it will change the game on your photography so here um, is good but i want to make it a little bit cooler like plus minus four and the tint i'll take this one the plus four the minus four and plus four the perfect combination of any kind of value okay and then it's done uh, literally it's good and then the curves and uh, the tone curves actually so here is the histogram you are watching here here is no histogram and here is no histogram so if you make it like this okay that's good and if you make this one like this that's cool and this one is the rgb options and now the blue portion here is histogram a little good and i'll make it like this and here is like this so it's good if you want to adjust or add some warmy tone you can make it like this yeah that's good and then the green one here is um, all kinds of histogram here but here is i need this one and here a little bit okay that's good and the red portion all the things i need here the red and that's good and again rgb and just click once here just fix up here just because of the histogram ended in this panel and i'll make it up like that so you have to lock all the things so don't move from anywhere so lock this up 
yeah that's good now you can change it yeah it won't effect in this portion that's why i locked it and then the detailing add some detailing a little bit not too much if you want to uh, reduce the grain here is some grain so you should reduce the grain so use the luminance of noise reducer panel and add some color contrast that's good and then the most important thing the hsl this one is the panel where you can change your photo color skin color hair color eye color lips color and the environment color so here is the red options i'll go to the hue options here is the hue if you take this right or left side it will be pink color so i don't want to do that i'll make it like orange color a little bit plus 10 that's good and the saturation not too much up one or two or five that's good the luminance of red i'll reduce the luminance of red i don't want to blink the red color up so here is the orange color the face color actually so luminance i should make it up so it will be the face and the other skin color will be shiny the saturation i will be a little bit down yeah i'll make it down so here the hue hue will be same and the yellow color here is no prominent here yellow if you want to make the yellow color like up so it will be shiny so you can do that so that's good and the saturation and luminance as well the some effect will just appear in this here portion so that's good here is the green portion so i'll just take the saturation of green a little bit up and the hue i'll make it like this and the luminance i'll make it like up and that's good and now now i'll go to the split toning option if you want to add split toning you have to just make the saturation up like 10 or 9 and then you can change the color yeah i'll make it like this the 99 color dark from the color band and this one is the highlighted hue and such saturation and you can use the balance so i'm making this one manually so i don't want to make it balance like that so here the hue so just in the highlight portion if the color is 99 then make this shadow so here is the portion the shadow portion how you will give the color like that so highlighted color is 99 and now make it 198 and this one is the secret of the color pop-up or split toning so it's done and now uh, here is no lens correction uh, issue that's why i'm just going back to the effects option and if you want to make it dehaze you can make like that and if you want to make it like some just effect or vignetting you can give the vignetting of post crop vignetting like this so the here the portion the primary color that means the camera calibration so you can change color like this so minus 32 minus 32 and make it 16 that means 16 and double 16 into the 32 okay and this one if you make it like this uh, that's cool and 13 or 14 you can make it 7 so that's good and now the primary red color if you want to make it like this so if I give this one 30 and I'll make it minus 15 so this one is another combination of the number so you can use these in your photography and here as well uh, i'll up the color like this yeah that's good and i'll save these preset for you guys and you can use these preset for your photography editing so i'm going to the just preset option and the save settings and i'll save this one and uh, i'll give the name pop-up color so and i'm saving this one and hit the ok button so get the change the huge huge change of the before and after and if you want to add any kind of uh, things to this 
image you can use that uh, in this image i will add some uh, just uh, levels and the correction i'll do like this and as well as this one so this one is another tick to do pop up your photo color and then and finally you want to just if you want to get the eyes like the shiny eyes you have to take new blank layer and make it white the foreground and background color foreground uh, just take the foreground color is white then go to the brush tool and select the brush first one and make the brush size according to the pupil of the model like this and click once and once here so make it overlay this one and get the change like this so select all the things make it group and you can make it merge so let's see the before one like this and after one before one and after one use color pop-up you just got in this image hope that you learn a lot from this tutorial if you did please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and don't forget to share and thumbs up my video until the next video i may say signing out today and bye bye